So I see that you don't have a lot of experience. Well, you consider life experience experience? Well, I guess not. No, not really. Technically, no, but uh, I've got nothing. No. So, uh, why is it you think we should hire you? I'm a very hard worker. <laughs> I'm a very hard worker. I mean, there's no one that works harder than me. Technically, there is nobody who works harder than me, ever. What do you mean by that? I don't know. I don't know why I keep saying technically. I'll stop saying that. That'd be great. Thanks. So, what do you think your biggest weakness is? Uh, that I work too hard. <laughs> none. Um, can I say none? That sometimes I get too focused on my job. I never have time to see my friends. Um, I would have to say that sometimes I'm a little bit lazy. Wow, sometimes. that's, that's very honest. I'm so sorry, was I supposed to lie? Most people do. Look, I know I have a lot to learn. A lot. But if you give me a chance, I promise. I promise. I promise that... I'll be the best waitress. The best box office attendant. The best nanny. The best powder passer outer of flyers. If you just give me a chance. Just one chance. Just oh. one. All I need is a chance. Well, we'll be in touch. Now, my personal assistant tells me you came highly recommended from the service. Oh, wow, that sounds good to hear. No, it's not. The child care service you belong to, Loving Baby Care, knows nothing of children, of the child's soul, of its mind's eye. Oh. So, that is not a compliment. I have been through three nannies in the last four months from your so-called reputable company. And believe me, this is the last straw before I move on to another service. I've had it. Well, I promise I won't disappoint you. I have three younger brothers, so I know how to take care of kids. Brothers, you say? So then you understand the male Prepubescent, then. Um, yes. They are different, aren't they? Boys. Boys. They're just so difficult and dumb. I know that's not a very PC thing to say. All mothers should love their children unconditionally. Boys, I mean, they just fart and pee everywhere. And they're so loud and unpredictable. Benson, no. Do we put our mouth on 15, and mommy's $15,000 vase? No, we don't. Down, Benson, down. Go to your shame corner. Is that the shame corner, Benson? No, it's not. Shame corner, Benson. Shame corner. There you go. Now sit there and do your multiplication tables in your head until I say you can stop. Now where were we? Um, Benson's schedule? Yes, thank you. Most days are light, synchronized swimming classes at 9, followed by music lessons at 10, followed by no gluten, no dairy, no GMO, no sugar, no gluten, no carbonation lunch. Wow, this sounds more intense than college. Sign me up. <laughs> I'm sorry, ma'am, that was a joke. No, 
I perfectly understood your poor attempt at improv comedy. Ian, you realize that this is more than a job, don't you? This is a never-ending, soul-sucking marathon that will require you to feed and nurture my beloved Benson from the hours of nine to five. It is a serious commitment. You never know when he might walk away from his shame corner. Very good, Benson. I was testing you. Remember me to give you a kale chip after soccer practice. I understand how important this is to you. Believe me, I know how precious children are, and I will do everything in my power to ensure that he is cared, educated, and loved. Very well. Let's try it out. So, do you want me to introduce myself, or? No. Benson is in his corner shamefully multiplying. He's not available right now, so... I will play the role of Benson for you. Okay, so you want to role play or something like that? I am a very committed actress when I put my mind to it. I'm on the board of our local community theater where I've played several lead roles in an account in an array of esteemed theater pieces. Uncle Vanya, Macbeth, Bye Bye Birdie, Uncle Tuna's Christmas in Hawaii, you will have no trouble believing that a 39-year-old woman could play a two-year-old toddler. Believe you me. So, do you want to start, like, now? And the scene begins now. Ooh, my name is Benson. I demand so much attention because I'm a little baby. Give me candy. I'm sorry, Benson. You can't have a treat until after gym, in which case you may have a kale chip or an avocado slice. Ooh, but I want the high fructose gummy snack that I saw in a violent program on television at my friend's house. Give me, give me. I'm sorry, Benson. You're not allowed. I want it. I want it. I Benson, want it. Benson, Benson, go to your shaming corner right now. Very good, Ian. I'll start you on a trial week. $15 an hour. If you do well and we continue to use you as our nanny, you'll be paid $17 an hour. When can you start? Um, today, I guess. Good. Now... Put on some dish gloves because it appears Benson has relieved himself in his shaming corner. Yes, Benson, I see the pee. Don't think that this will get you out of your shaming time. In fact, it will double it. Times two, Benson. Times two. Half off moose burgers. Come on in. Every moose burger now made with 100% grass fed beef. I know that's confusing, but moose burger is just the name of the restaurant, okay? We don't actually sell moose meat. We sell hamburgers. Half off hamburgers. I don't think you can buy moose legally. Can you? I don't actually know. But that's not the point. The point is, we've got hamburgers. Hamburgers called moose burgers. Oh, uh, well, hello, little fella. Interested in some 100% antibiotic-free moose burgers? By which I mean hamburgers. What? What do you want? Ah, dang it! Ow, why the hell did you just do that? Well, so my brother thinks you're a real moose, and I've been in three bucks. You was just a person inside, so thanks. You deserve me three big ones. Are you going to use your money to buy any moose burgers? Uh, no. I don't eat moose. Sounds kind of gross, but bye. Thanks. <sighs> I 
Hello and welcome to Cinema Movieplex, where movies come to live. How may I help you? What? Um, I said, welcome to Cinema no, Movieplex. I just didn't understand the second part where movies come to live. What the heck does that mean? Um, I don't know. They, they make us say that. Well, you shouldn't. It's damn confusing. I agree, and I'm sorry. Um, what can I get you? Well, my hope was that you would sell me a ticket to a movie, but by the way you're talking, do you even show movies here? Yep, yes, uh, yeah, we do. I just... Why well, just one? Maybe I'm here with a hot date. No, of course. Maybe my wife is buying popcorn right over there. Well, of course, I didn't mean to assume that, uh... Don't you see her there? Um, no, I don't. No, you don't. You know why? Because she's dead. Oh my god. Oh my god is right. Died three years ago, struck by lightning at a pool party. Uh... Do you know what the odds are of getting struck by lightning in your lifetime? I don't. One in three thousand. I... Really? I know. Lower than you think, so be mindful. Night swimming may sound like fun, but it won't be, if you're dead. Ma'am, I'm sorry. All I wanted to know was how many tickets you wanted. Well, now you know. One ticket for one widower. Thank you very much. Awesome, and what will you be seeing? Nothing about loved ones dying, if you don't mind. N no, of course. You just make me too sad. Remember how I told you about my wife? Yeah, you mean just now? Yes, just now. Pay attention, will you? I, oh, okay, okay. Um, I assume you don't want to see any movies about lightning either? No, that's fine. Lightning doesn't bother me. Okay. I'm not a child. Why would I be afraid of lightning? Um, I don't know, because you said your wife... And I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. What do you want to see? Well, what do you have? Well, uh, Hero Man 2 is popular on many screens. Ugh, Hero Man. I assume you're not a very big fan of superhero movies, are you? If I wanted to watch a cartoon, I'd wake up early on a Saturday. Um, I don't know what that means, but okay. No comic book movies. How about a comedy? I like to laugh. As long as it's not too vulgar. Okay, well... Kissing? Ugh. It's kissing in these movies these days. Right, well, also, um... I don't want to see a fat guy fall down. Why is that funny? He should lose weight and not be in a movie. Okay, well, the comedies we have... Oh... Oh, well, this one... Oh. Okay, maybe not a comedy. They seem too vulgar. Uh, how about a horror movie? Every day of my life is a horror movie. No, thank you. Okay, well, we have a number of independent films. And by independent, you mean cheap, where the actors mumble and you can't understand anything? Well, not necessarily. Pass. Yeah, but a number of them at Pass. <sighs> okay. Well, the only thing I can recommend you is a romantic comedy called Falling Next to You. It's supposed to be too, so I guess I have nothing. Sorry. Why wouldn't I like that? Because so far, you've hated everything I've said. It's about love. What's not to like? Well, normally it's $15.50. What am I, buying a car? But with matinee prices and a senior discount, it's $8.25. Highway robbery. In my day, I could see a movie for 10 nickels. Well, I don't set the prices. No, I guess you don't, but you should. Fine, you win. Hmm. Enjoy the show. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry to bother you again, but how long is the picture? Um, two hours and two minutes. No! I never watched a movie over 84 minutes. What else do you got? Hi! 
welcome to McGrady's. I'm, I'm, huh. Hi, welcome to McGrady's. I'm Heidi, I'll be your server. Can I start you off with something to drink? You're not Kaylee. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm sorry, I come in every Wednesday and Carrie's my server. She's very good. Right, Carrie. Brunette's about my height, pretty. Isn't she though? It's like jump. So I just jumped out of the screen and started serving me french fries. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone loves Carrie. I know, I heard. Unfortunately though, she left. <laughs> What? Yeah, she uh, got engaged, so she's moving to Chicago. No. Yeah, <laughs> I know. Here's my server. She knew my order. Oh, I see. Well, um, I'm her placement. <laughs> oh, dear. And, um, you know, yeah, ah, uh, it's my first day, so. Oh, dear. And, you know, once I get my sea legs, hopefully uh, I'll be as uh, good of a server as Carrie. Doubtful. Very doubtful. Yeah, well, I mean, maybe. Carrie was something special. She's a very special server and a very, very special person. Well, can I start you off with something to drink? Mary would never have asked me that. She just knew. <sighs> oh, yeah? And she'd show up and she'd have it in her hand, piping high and ready to drink. Oh, that's nice. And I'd say Kara's here to warm me up and... Yeah. <laughs> and, and she'd laugh. I'm sure she didn't think it was funny, especially on my time that she said it, but, but, but you know what? You can never tell. She's so genuine. Well, you know, I can't bring you your drink until you tell me. But, you know, maybe next week uh, I'll uh, bring it to you, just like Carrie did. I guess. And um, then uh, maybe you'll get to know me as well as you knew Carrie. Doubtful. Wait, very doubtful. So what would you like, a coffee? No. Do you want me to keep guessing, or? B, Earl Grey, two sugars. Right, and uh, would you like to go ahead and order your meal, or do you need more time? Did Carrie just bring it out for you? Well, again, <laughs> um, <sighs> if you tell me, Maybe next time, I can bring it out for you. I don't even know if I'm hungry anymore. Eating seems kind of pointless without Carrie to bring it to you. Look, ma'am, <laughs> this is my first day, and um, it's really important that it goes well. My manager's watching. So could you please just pretend to look happy? Is that even possible now that Carrie's gone? Really? I mean, how great could she have really been? <laughs> Carrie was a saint and an angel. You don't talk bad about Carrie like that. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay. Look. Lunch is on me today, okay? I'll buy you your lunch if you stop looking so depressed and so 
actually order something, okay? Really? Do the for me? Yes. Because I care about you being happy and having a good, fun-filled time. So what do you want? <laughs> Okay, um, I'll have three orders of oysters, a filet mignon, a Caesar salad with white truffles on the side, a tuna steak, and all this. Thank you. And uh, will that be all for your free meal? Yep. Hey, Pam, how's it going? Did you come that newbie into getting us a free lunch? You know what? Being old is great. I can do whatever I want because I'm going to die soon. Uh, young people are so stupid and naive. Yeah, being old is the, the best. best. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, how do you think your first week has gone? Uh, it's been okay. <laughs> Good, I guess. I think me and Benson have really bonded. Uh, good, I think. I passed out a bunch of flyers. That's good, right? Well, I uh, asked this because I have to tell you. We've uh, gotten some complaints about your performance. You have? From who? How many? Does it matter? Look, the point is, we've been getting complaints. Many, many complaints. I mean, do you even want to work here? Yeah! I totally, totally do. I, I do. I, I do. I, I really do. Okay. I'm sorry I don't always memorize the specials. <sighs> sorry, I was late to take Benson to acupuncture. I'll get better. I promise you, I'll get the hang of it. Kids love me. If you give me a chance, I'm sure I'll do better. All right, I'll give you one more try. But know that we're always watching you. You're on thin ice, so don't you dare take this job for granted. We won't. We're going to start changing a few things from here on out. Heidi, we're moving you to the lunch shift. The tips won't be as good, but there should be less customers to uh, overwhelm you. Ian, we're sending you to a different family. The pay's not as good, but middle-class families tend to be a lot easier to deal with than rich families. Kylie, we're moving you to Wednesdays. It's the worst day to work. Everybody's miserable on Wednesdays, so therefore they will make you miserable too. We hope that by punishing you, you'll do a better job. How will that even work? Um, I don't know. It's just how we do things here at Mooseburgers. And Shorty, we're putting you on the night shift. The night shift? Oh, gosh. Remember that it's a privilege to work here. And there are dozens of people who will gladly take your place. Gladly. We're we're giving you an opportunity, not because we have to. But because we believe in you. So don't, so don't disappoint, disappoint us. us. Look, I just want to be upfront with you. Yes, I was released from my last job. Some might even say I was fired, but I've learned a lot from my last employer and now I have a well of experience and I will take your daughter to any of their classes. I will feed them any organically made snacks with any vegetables. I will. Ian, 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 shh, relax. Hey, relax. You seem super tense. Let's sit on the floor and center ourselves, shall we? Okay, just on the floor. I have traditional chairs in the basement if you prefer. Whatever makes you feel at peace. Well, since you're on the floor, I'll go down there too. Wonderful. Closer to the earth. Okay, so what's our basic schedule? 
like when does she take a nap? Do I have any classes I need to take her to? No. No, no, no. I'm sorry, what? We don't do that here. What do you mean? Impose a structure on her. Opal is free to be who she wants, when she wants, where she wants. Also, what she wants. All her wants are her wants. So then what do I do? Gently guide her on her way to being her authentic self. And most importantly, just be. Okay, I think I can do that. I know you can. You know how? I really don't. Because you already are. Oh! <clears throat> it appears as if Opal has awoken from her midday summer. <laughs> Do you want to observe us while I introduce myself? No. No. You can spend some time along with her. I, I leave her in your hair and um. Huh? I'm Opal. Who the heck are you? I'm, a. Uh, wait, you're Opal? Um, yeah. But you're, like, my age. How old are you? I'm 14. Why would I... Oh, God. Did my stupid idiot mom hire another babysitter? Yeah. Damn it! Mom! What the heck, Mom? Stop hiring babysitters, you stupid hippie! If you got a problem with me, tell them my face, okay? I'm the impression that. Don't talk to me. I'm not taking orders from someone who's like my same age. Okay. I don't know what six weird family problems you have here, but I will not get in the way. No, no, please, please. Don't go give her another chance. Um, please, please stay. I'll, I'll double your pay. You can use our car and eat our food. Just please don't go. Opal's a monster. Opal's a monster. Hey everybody, it's Wednesday. Do you know what that means? It's Hump Day Shake Day. And yes, I'm aware this doesn't make any sense. I'm not in marketing. I didn't create Hump Day Shake Day. It's just something they do here at Moose Burger. You know, like free fried Fridays. Uh, except the fries aren't actually free. They're half off. Or Monday Nugget Mondays, because, you know, Mondays are a day we eat congealed chicken deep fried in batter. So, whatever. You get 50 cents off a vanilla mousse shake if you come in today. Or I'll just buy it for you if you recognize that I am a person. I am a grown woman dressed up as a moose. And that I am talking to you. I will buy you a free vanilla milkshake. Go ahead and ask her. I'm sure Moosey the Moose Burger Moose would love to say hi to you and give you a big hug. Okay, honey? Go on. Okay. Um, um, excuse me, Moosey? Yes, give me a second. I see some. <gasps> <gasps> What in the world is wrong with you? Charlotte loved Moosey. Where's your sense of dignity? Where's your pride for peace sake? Think of the children!
I am so, 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 so sorry. I'll put it back on. I promise. I'll, I'll, I'll put it back. Yep, that's it. I made a little girl cry. I think I quit. Hi, and welcome to Cinema Movie Plex, where movies come to live. How may I help you? That is the million dollar question, isn't it? Uh, I thought I'd have a better idea once I got up here, but now that I'm looking at all my options... You don't know what to see. Exactly. Sorry, I'm so decisive these days. Okay, well, there's a line of people behind you, so if you want to just stand to the side here... Oh, um, no, that's silly. I'll decide. I can decide. Just let me think here for a second. Okay, sure. You know what? Maybe I'll just recommend something. Oh, geez, I'm holding up the line. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, what do you recommend? What are people going to? Okay, well, um, Hero Man 2 is popular on many screens. We have it in 2D and 3D. Ooh, superheroes. Sounds fun. A lot of action, summer movie, that sort of thing. Yes, exactly. And I've heard good things about The Shade and the Piano. It's a drama set in the 19th century. Supposedly, it's emotional and well acted. Ooh, okay. Dramatic with music. Maybe an Oscar movie? Yes, exactly. Sounds good. Sounds good. I love classical music, so maybe, maybe, hmm, how about something in the middle? The middle? You know, something that's kind of fun, crowd-pleasing, but also serious and dramatic with music. You want a blockbuster period piece movie and that has music? Yeah, something in the middle. Okay, okay. Well, I have something. It's called Jump Shot. It's about an orphan who teaches himself how to play basketball and eventually gets drafted into the Celtics. The emotional, well acted, and has some sad parts, but it's fair. You, you cheer at the end. Oh, perfect. That sounds perfect. Just what I was looking for. Dramatic, but upbeat. Just what I needed. Awesome. So that'll be one? One. Yes. At the movies alone. Again. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And I'll take a 3D screening. You want a 3D screening? Yes. Ah, oh, I didn't even think about it. But when you said 3D earlier, I was like, you know, I haven't seen one of those 3D things in a while. I bet that would be fun. Okay, but actually... You know, with the baseball, basketball zooming over your head, feeling like you're in the stands. As... Ma'am, I'm so sorry, but this movie does not come in 3D. It comes in 2D. I'm sure you'll still enjoy it. Oh, well, I don't know. Maybe I should pick something else. 3D town is really fun. Oh, gosh. Hey, lady, just pick a movie already. Ma'am, there is no need to yell. Hey, buddy, don't tell us not to yell. We're going to be late for Hero Man 2. And we can't do that, okay? Here, we are Hero Man complete, complete, completists, and we want to see what happens to him in the next installation. Well, there are kiosks right over there, so if you have a credit card, you can go buy a ticket without having to wait in the line. Yeah, well, you see, I can't do that, okay? I have terrible credit. Terrible. My credit rating is five. I have a broken arm, so I can't even use the kiosk. Okay, well, just give us one second. We're almost done. Ma'am, I really need you to pick a movie. Well, what do you have that's a fun, crowd-pleasing, serious period piece drama that's also in 3D? A blockbuster period, period piece drama in 3D? Would you also like half of it to be animated? Yeah, I 
love animation. Great. And while we're at it, maybe I can have subtitles in French. How about that? I was a French major. Oh, that would be a treat for me to brush up on my French. Wee oui, wee. Oui. Well, that doesn't exist, okay? This isn't a mad lib. Just stop being difficult and pick a movie. Well, I never. All I asked for was a recommendation, and this is how I'm treated. A recommendation? You did not just ask for a recommendation. You asked and waffled and asked and changed your mind, and then when you finally pick something, you pick something that doesn't even exist. Well, maybe if you double check, you'll find something that is a serious, but fun, half animated French movie. No, I will not. Well, I'm going to speak to your manager yelling at me like this. This is not where movies come to live. This is where they come to die. Sorry about that. Uh, welcome to Cinema Movie yeah, Plex. Yeah, I give you one for Hair Man too. Sure. No problem. And thank you. Thank you for having your movie picked out. Yeah, of course. Hero Man rules! All I want is Hero Man. Are you showing an IMAX? And is it in 3D or? Hero Man, absolutely. Oh, and could I also get, get it to stream on my phone, tablet? Mm -hmm and other devices while I watch it. I like to look at different screens while I'm watching television or movies or something like that. And uh, could you get it where all the violence and swearing is taken out? I really, really don't like that stuff. It just brings back bad memories. Also, I want Macy to shake while I'm watching it. Can you make that happen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like when there's a huge explosion, like my seat should shake. You know? Shake, 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 shake
Look, Chippy, um, I'm sure you have your fish fry and cheese, whatever's in their hip for your regulars, right? Um, I have a lot of dietary restrictions, so I'll have to order off the menu. Sure. So it appears you have salad. Correct? Okay, great. Um, I'll have a salad with no lettuce, carrots minced on the side, avocado quarter only, and beets, two quarter cups served, and also on the side. Thank you. Okay, well that's kind of like a garden salad, I guess. So I'll just I'll put it in as that. Um, so I assume you don't want any cheese? Yes, your assumption that I would not like to gain five pounds directly to my buttocks is correct. And no dressing? If I didn't want cheese, what the, why the heck would I want dressing? Do you know what dressing is? It's fat. Pure liquid fat. Sorry, I have to ask. A wedge of lemon will be fine. Okay, and uh, just so you know, since you've substituted quite a few items, <laughs> I'll have to charge you an extra few dollars. Is that okay? Oh no. Two dollars. Where am I going to find two dollars in my four hundred dollar purse? I guess I'll have to put on my two thousand dollar blazer to go to the bank to ask for a loan to pay off my salad additions. I, I was just trying to be helpful. You're not being helpful. You're slowing me down. I could back in my office in 18 minutes. Just use your eyes and look at my manicure and make the deduction that clearly I don't care if you charge me an extra two dollars. Great. Well, your your meal will be right out. Wait, one more thing. Yes? No, I'm talking to my assistant. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> no, um, no, you wait too. Wait, one more thing. Okay, so um, what do you, <laughs> what do you want? I was talking to my server at the grade. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Um, yeah, don't ever. It's dreadful. It smells like sweat and cheap beer, and the staff is incompetent. Maybe Joffrey. Um, I need to cancel my four o'clock board meeting. I have to fire Donnie the accounting. Do you know the one? Yeah. Yes, today. Yes, it's his birthday. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, bye. Yes? Don't yes me. I was just on the phone. You really should wait till I'm off the phone. <laughs> but uh, last time, uh, you said that I didn't answer you quickly enough. And you- My boss, Chipmunk. How hard is it for you to take orders, carry food, <sighs> and not interrupt people while on the phone. Hmm? Is it really that hard? Is there something I'm missing? Is it really that hard for you, chipmunk? Is it, huh? Yes, it is, because you are an awful person. Probably the worst person I've ever talked to. And I have a name. <laughs> it's Heidi, and it's not chipmunk. <sighs> oh. Would you like to speak to my manager now? Yes, I think I would. Hello, you asked to see me. What is it? What do you want? Look, I appreciate the opportunity you've given me. I really do. But I've thought a lot about it and I've decided that I quit. quit. Really? Yeah, I do. I am done with pondering to insane clients. The demeaning requests. The over-demanding parents. For a job that is soul-crushing and that I frankly suck at. I just, I just can't, can't do, do it, it anymore. Well, look, I don't know what you expected. It's a job. All jobs aren't good. Some are boring. Some are tedious. Some are pride-swallowing and terrible. 
but you don't do it because it's fun. You do it for money. And if you've decided after your first job that you can't do any more. If you've decided you're above this type of work. Well, I'm sorry, but you're going to have a tough time finding another one. Without references or experience, do you really think you could find something better? Actually, yeah, I think there are a number of jobs I'd be more qualified to do. I mean, I've been thinking, and maybe I'm not a good waitress, but I could work as a nanny or something. I like movies. Maybe I could work at the movie theater. I'd rather pass out flyers on the street than do customer service. Seriously. Because now that I have confidence and a little experience, it won't be as bad. At least it shouldn't be, right? Well, I guess we'll see. Good luck. <laughs>